to the curb. Alright, what's going on guys, it's Mystery here, back with another video, and in today's video we're going to be doing some Black Ops 3 tips and tricks, specifically playing objective slash support in Black Ops 3. Now when I say just Black Ops 3, I don't mean it because this is the main Call of Duty game at the time of this recording, which is November 15th, 6 in the morning, yeah, I'm recording this 6 in the morning, so yeah. These tips also apply for other Call of Duties and you can use them whatever Call of Duty you want if you don't have Black Ops 3. Now let's start with the gameplay analysis and if you look at this gameplay at first glance you will probably notice that it's just one of those games where you just join and the enemy team is trumping you, they're controlling two objectives really really good. They won't let you near B or their home flag and you're just stuck at your spawn dying and dying and dying and it's a vicious cycle so what can you do to stop that cycle and just pull the fair back to your team and basically you have to get out that one obj class you will probably have after this video or before this video whatever just get out that one obj class you will have and i will show my class right now and it's a pretty decent class it's my wheel class and that's my most used gun the weevil it's max prestige everything and I like using that gun because it has a large magazine and just overall is a really really decent gun. It doesn't excel at anything, it doesn't really, you know, it, it's not really bad at anything. But what guns you can use, it's like your personal preference. And yeah, now for secondaries, I want you to use the Black Cell and over, over the other rocket launcher because this one has four, and yes, it can only be shot with lock on on score streaks but you're not gonna be shooting these at people because it's just pointless because two rockets can mean you destroying a wraith a hatter and a con uav and just a lot of score streaks in general and those two rockets are really valuable so yeah so use those and just keep keep on destroying those uavs con uavs and it will make the enemy team work for their score streaks because they won't be able to see you they won't be able to be blocked your radar and they won't be able to see like your live movement with the hatter and also they won't be able to kill you from spawn with the wraith so yeah and for tacticals you won't be using smoke and if you watch team martin's video on smoke grenades it's really really good and this year they're better than ever because they have a lot of stuff they do which not a lot of people know but they the enemy team can't see you on the the radar when you're inside the smoke of a smoke grenade and it's pretty cool just watch team martin's video like i said because i'm not gonna go in depth on it because it's a bit long and yeah so you want to be using those on the b flag or any flag you're capturing just to help out your teammates capture flag and or just you know get them through the middle which is where the enemy team is gonna be because they're gonna stay there and just kill you from spawn so just try to help your team out as much as you can as an obj player and i'm gonna say this now playing obj is really frustrating because most of your team after all of the race hatters and gun uvs they're not gonna try to help you they're gonna try to outslay the enemy team and just you know get more kills but you have to destroy the uvs gun uvs all the scores you, you can and put down the smokes in the middle drag your team across so they can get beat hopefully and yeah now in terms of specialist i like two specialists for playing obj the first one is the overdrive when you can run really fast and the second one is this one it's the specter active camo because when you get that one you just you can go through the middle of the map without anyone noticing you most of the time and it's really help helpful for just putting down a smoke and trying to capture that objective and yeah so like I said, if, you, if you're not level 40, you can use the overdrive one, which is pretty good because you can run across the map in a matter of seconds and just, you know, help out your team quite, quite a lot. And that's pretty much it for the class building. I think I went over the gameplay and told you guys the key points and 
playing an objective player and I'm sorry if my voice is like running away from me because this is my 100th take on this video like I said some files got corrupted something just happened like millions of times so I'm sorry for this video not coming out as early as I wanted it to so yeah I think I went through most of the general tips and yeah just try to help your team out as much as you can and capture those objectives even the in the beginning the C or the A flag because most people just ignore it and just go straight to B and I sometimes do that so yeah and those can mean those little things can mean you win or you lose so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys learned something new and or useful and if you feel like this video needs a rating or deserves a rating just give it a like or a dislike I don't really care what it is and as long as it's a rating and also subscribe for this kind of content and just a quick reminder on Tuesday I'll be releasing my second supply drop video which will contain about 20 supply drops being open I already have 11 supply drops and yeah so 20 supply drops in Tuesday hope you guys tune in on that one and I will see you in my next video bye guys